<laughs> Time now for our next guest. The Australian landscape is some of the most beautiful and unforgiving terrain on the planet, which makes the journey Robin Davidson took in 1977 even more remarkable. Subject of a new film starring Aussie actress Mia Voshakovska, Trax tells the story of Robin's nine-month 2700k trek from Alice Springs to the Indian Ocean, accompanied only by her pet dog and four camels. I'm the first to admit I am remarkably unqualified for such a hazardous undertaking, but this is precisely the point of my journey. I'd like to think an ordinary person is capable of anything. The trip was recorded by a National Geographic photographer. Okay, maybe a, a tiny smile. And her article in that magazine and eventual book made her story famous around the world. With its stunning landscapes and wonderful characters, <laughs> Pax looks set to introduce a new generation to Robin's incredible ongoing adventure. Please welcome Robin Davidson. Yeah. a long time ago, the original yeah. journey. What drove you to do it? Oh, I've been trying to answer that question for 30 years. Mm. Um, look, uh, the, the only answer I've come up with is why wouldn't I want to do it? The desert is glorious. Mm. I learnt so much about myself. It was a joyous event. I remember when you were out there, I was working uh. on newspapers and it was just amazing. We, we'd have Robin Davidson updates as we went through every day. Extraordinary, Were you isn't frightened it? out there, though? Because I have kept thinking, did you, know, did you have a weapon in case you were attacked? I did by? have a weapon. Yep. Um, the only real danger was wild bull camels yep. because they would come in and try and get my camels and sort of kill me on the way. Mm. Um, so I did shoot a few of those, which I didn't much like. But otherwise, you know, I mean, the desert is really quite benign. That's pretty crazy. Except, <laughs> for, the, except for the bull camels, you need to shoot in the face. Yeah. How did you go working with your camels? Like getting, you know, training them or learning how to yeah. sort of be friends with them? Mm, it took two years. I mean, I was pretty well trained myself by the time I took off. Um, wow. And I got uh, wild animals and I trained them and I built their saddles and I... Tough to get to know a camel, huh? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Do you know you what, would be surprised. Sorry, Lee, but I just want to ask, do you know where they are? Like, have you heard about them since? Do you know what happened to the camels? Do you keep in touch? Do they ride? <laughs> <laughs> they would. <laughs> They'd be good with mobiles, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah I um, went out to see them once and spent an hour sort of cuddling them and giving them their oh. watermelon and licorice and all the things they like. And then I had to walk back to the homestead, which was about 10 miles away. And they just fell into line behind me. Oh, oh. oh that's that's mm. so nice. Are you are you shocked at how this has become such a worldwide sensation? Your story. Well, it was completely surprising to me because I'd never intended to write about it. I didn't think anyone would be interested. But um, those pictures, those natu National Geographic Rick pictures, pictures, were yeah. so sensational. Oh, they are that, astonishing. That's what captured everyone's attention. Yes, and I was very resentful of the of Rick being there initially. Gave him quite a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he came out three or four times during mm. the trip and recorded beautiful it. And of course, pictures. now I look back at those pictures and I think they're stunning and yeah. beautiful. So, what's it like having the film out now? Um, Mia is playing you. Mm. Uh, what's it like seeing someone else live out your story? It's pretty weird, I have to tell you, it's pretty weird. It's kind of. Um, well, it's me and it's not me. So, it's you're constantly sort of vacillating between remembering and seeing it as yourself and then it's completely different. It, is it, it like do you focus on the big things like no it didn't happen like that or do you go it's the little things I don't drink my tea like that. Like, <laughs> a, little, what's that? a little bit a bit, bit of both actually yeah, right. yeah yeah but I was very pleased that Mia um, eventually said yes I'd always wanted her to play the role and um, and generally it's been just a really happy experience. Because there were a few film. other actors along the way that we're going to play. They've, mm. they've talked about making this movie for yeah, a long time. Yeah, lots of them. And who, was it Julia Roberts mm. I heard was... She was the penultimate one before, wow. before this version with Mia. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. And now, uh, Robin, it's important, isn't it, to be nice to your animals, as you would know from spending so much time with the camels and your dog while you're mm. out there. Mm. Uh, so I would say don't mock, ladies and gentlemen, the king of the jungle by calling it Puss Puss, because there will be consequences. No, <laughs> oh, no, that is risky. Run. Oh, yeah, call me Puss Puss, are you? Oh, Boom. <laughs> That's what I want to say you. Right there. <laughs> and that cameraman will not be calling <laughs> that animal Puss Puss again. Mm. Just before we let you go, I mean, for people that didn't know about your journey back then, what would you like them to take out of the book and take out of the film? And, mm. you know, oh, that you can do anything you want to do, really. I mean, I'm not advocating that people 
drop their bundle and head to the desert. But, you know, the metaphor of extending your life, taking a risk, finding out how, who you are, um, mm. it's Incredible. always applicable. Well, Tracks is in cinemas Thursday. Robin's book, of course, is uh, also available. There it is there. Uh, go and see the movie. Go mm. and read the book. Magnificent story. Robin, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> We've got one more break to go. We'll see you in a moment. <laughs>